Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the Bose TV speaker. It is a powered three channel soundbar with Bluetooth. As you can see, the Bose TV speaker is pretty small. Now, if you know anything about Bose, you know that Bose is pretty good at making a lot of sound from a small package, and this is no exception. Uh, it does have three channels, so you have a left, a right, and a center channel, so you get good, clear dialogue and full, rich sound. If you're even considering a soundbar, it's probably because you've realized that those speakers built into your TV are not quite getting the job done. Uh, they're not loud enough, they're not clear enough. You might be even having trouble hearing dialogue when watching your shows. The Bose TV speaker has a dialogue mode and with those dedicated speakers built in, the dialogue on the screen will be crystal clear. So no more wondering what they said. And like I said, the TV speaker has a full rich sound, but if you're looking for, you know, action movies or music or something where you need a little bit lower bass extension, you can add either the Bose Bass Module 500 or the 700 to bring in that full sort of low oomph that you might want for home theater or music. It's pretty easy to connect the Bose TV speaker directly to your TV. The best way to connect it is to use HDMI with audio return channel. That way, no matter what you're playing on your TV, whether it's coming from the over-the-air antenna uh, or the built-in streaming apps or a source that's plugged into your TV with HDMI like a Blu-ray player or a cable box, no matter what you're playing, the sound will go back down into your soundbar using that HDMI cable. It's one cable. It's a pretty simple hookup, just that and a power cable plug it into the wall for power and you're good to go. You have other options though. If your TV doesn't have HDMI with audio return channel, you can use the optical digital input on the back of the Bose TV speaker. It also has an auxiliary input so you can plug in another device like a portable music player. And of course you can go Bluetooth and wirelessly stream music from your phone or your tablet or your computer directly to the Bose TV speaker. One of the other benefits of connecting the TV speaker to your TV with an HDMI cable is a function of HDMI called Consumer Electronic Control, or HDMI CEC. And that basically allows the TV to tell the soundbar to turn on, and when you hit the volume up and down button on your TV remote, it knows that the soundbar is the thing that needs to go up and down. That can all happen through the magic of the HDMI connection. The Bose TV speaker does also have an auto wake feature so it knows to turn on and to turn off when it detects that your TV is on and off even when you're not using the HDMI CEC connection. One of the benefits of the Bose TV speaker being so small and low profile is that it is short enough to sit below the bottom edge of most TVs, so it shouldn't block the screen at all. If you are wall mounting your TV, you can also wall mount the Bose TV speaker. Bose does make an optional bracket. You want to get that uh, so that you can mount it right below your TV and have it look good and sound good. So this is the Bose TV speaker, a nice low profile, full sounding soundbar for your TV. It should make dialogue clearer, should make everything sound better than those TV speakers could possibly ever do. If you have any questions about this or anything else, get in touch with us here at Crutchfield. The phone number is right at the top of crutchfield.com. Give us a call. You can chat with one of our advisors or send us an email. We also pay attention to the comments right here on YouTube. So if you have a question, you can just leave it right down there. And while you're here on our page, go ahead and hit subscribe, like us, and hit that notifications bell so you'll know the next time we put out a video. Thanks for watching.